guys, Chris again and welcome back. So today is just a quick video on um, a few pieces that I have in my collection right now from the Louis Vuitton Christopher Nemeth line. The line was out in fall 2015 and um, unfortunately it was a limited design, it was purely for um, autumn winter 2015 so I am very blessed to have these pieces and I'm forever grateful on managing to get these. Uh, I will never ever sell any of these pieces because this is probably one of my favourite collections ever. Um, yeah, so without any blabbering on, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so guys, I'm just going to go from small to big. Um, so firstly, I'm going to start off with the textile cards or the textile coat that you get. Um, with most limited collections or most collections where you, you maybe have to care for it in a certain way you will receive this book. Um, this is not a care book, it is just a quick overview of the collection. So the front of the book just says Collection Home, which is just for name, Autumn Hiver? Hiver? Mm. I do not want to butcher this, um, but it just means autumn slash winter, 2015 to 2016. And then it says Christopher Nemeth and Libby Vuitton at the bottom. So it comes in different languages. So if we scroll our way through, this is the English part here. So if you want to have a quick read at it, have a pause and just have a look over it. And this is just the last part there. So it's very informative, um, it's interesting to see or to, to read about how a collection has came around so um, this is definitely a, a cute little keepsake for the collection. Now the first piece that I picked up, uh, I picked this up in New Bond Street in London when I was there last year. Um, I had thought the collection had kind of fizzled out by that point but I found this just hanging at one of the bag charm sections and two things I love are a pouch and a bag charm. So this is the rope detail I was talking about. This was Christopher Nemeth's signature um, design, much like the LV is Louis Vuitton's. It features a gorgeous rope detail, and it looks so nice under the graphite, um, under the graphite background. So that's that's a nice feature. Um, you can't really make it out, but the squares. <clears throat> can you make it out? Mm, not too much. But I'll show you in a different piece how different the canvas is on the graphite. Um, so the trim of these is this off-white kind of colour. I don't know if this is going to pick it up in true form, but it's almost um, almost a, a kind of grey. I don't know, it's nice, it goes well. And just on the back it is this grained leather effect. Um, so we've got here Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. I believe that's where most, if not all, of the key slash bag charms are made. Um, I have mine hot stamped, just imprinted with a little C. And on this side here, if we can make out the, I can't even read it myself, but that is your date codes or item code piece. If you want to have, let's see, I don't have my glasses on, so this is impossible for me to make out, but that's your date codes. Uh, all of the hardware on this collection is silver um, oh, on this version of the collection. There is another version that I can get into in a second. Um, but you have your key ring itself that just says Louis Vuitton. I usually attach everything to the clasp. So your clasp is much like any other clasp. You've got your Louis Vuitton printed in here. And then the same on the other side as well. Just says Louis Vuitton and it is just a simple clasp closure. So that was the second piece that I picked up from this collection and that is the Christopher Nemeth bag charm. This is the last piece that I picked up in this collection but it's the second um, in size. So this is it here. Again, I'm not going to show any of the boxes. I think it's one of those ones. I'm, no, actually, so I'm pretty sure that box, the square box, came with this one. So, um, this is the little dust bag that it comes in. So just your standard yellow dust bag. 
which is nice, it's very run cold, just the way that I store it. And it's a top flip dust bag to reveal the Christopher Nemeth Porsche Volga. So I'll pop this down here. So this is the Porsche Volga. Um, so, so, so where to start with this one? Um, I'll start with the print. So again, we have this gorgeous rope detail here. So much like the bag charm. And this is what I said about the, the print itself. So as you'll probably notice, the squares on this graphite piece, they are so small in comparison to your original graphite um, canvas. I'll show you actually. This is your graphite on the Nemeth bag. This is your graphite on my clay. As you can see, the squares are much smaller, which makes it nice. Um, I like it. I like both prints, but I think this is very unique. Um, so, as we said here, we've got all the rope details here, so it has a lot more rope than the bag charm. On each side, you have a leather tab just here, which is this mattified leather, much like my Kipo leather, like the straps. On the other side, we have, um, again, some strapping down there. We also have this D-ring, which allows me to attach this attachment to. Um, I'll go over this in a second. And also we have your ginormous LV zipper, and I love how thick and chunky this zipper is. Um, it's it's really nice. So that's the, the kind of outside of the bag. Um, there's nothing different on the bottom. There's no there's no feet or anything, and it is the exact same all the way around. So this is nice. This is the attachment that you get with this piece. So it just has a clasp, much like the bag charm clasp that just says. Um, Louis Vuitton just down there and again the same when we flip it around we have this very chunky rivet that has Louis Vuitton on it as well nope it's not but it does it says LV or Louis Vuitton all the way around here which is nice um, it is the graphite canvas if you can pick that up and your wrist just slips in there and then you can hold the bag from there. But I'll pop in some um, body shots of me with this piece. The inside of the bag, so I keep all my stuff stored with um, just these kind of air pocket things. Uh, I bought them, I, I didn't even buy them, I bought things from Amazon and these came with it, so they have made great additions to my storage family. So the inside is a little bit different than I would have expected, so I'm going to have to turn the camera around for this bit, but for this section, so we have, this is your, your tab in the back, and please excuse the mess inside, I use this bag constantly, and, yeah. so it just says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, and then the men's awesome winter 2015 tab there um, that is it's a small bag you can fit a lot inside it and i'll do a what fits in video at a later stage but that's it down there it really does need a wash flip it over on the reverse side of where the bag is you have this little slip pocket which does go the full length of the bag as well and this is usually where i keep my wallet and my keys and everything in that little part there and guys that is really all that I have to say about the inside and um, it can fit an absolute ton again I'll do a separate video for what fits inside but guys that is the Porsche Volga and the Nemeth line if you can get your hands on this it is it is a great addition. It is so highly sought after and I constantly get messages asking if I would sell. Unfortunately no, I do love it so much, but if you can get your hands on one, then I honestly would suggest to get it as soon as possible. 
And the last one, and this is the first item that I ever picked up from this collection, it comes in well, this larger dust bag. I think we need to rejig a little bit here. Okay, so rejig. So the last item in this collection comes in this rather large dust bag. Just to try and give you the size of it there. And I'll flip it over. Not hit the candle. To reveal the Pochette Voyage MM in the Nemeth print. Now, again, I said that I love a pouch, which I do. I love pouches. I don't know why, but I just think they suit me down to a T. And when I seen that, let's <laughs> see the whole the whole picture here. When I seen this, I instantly thought I need to have this. And honestly, I'm so glad that I got it because it is probably the nicest piece that I ever bought, and I love it. So there's not really much to say um, about the outside because it is pretty much the same as the Volga. Um, only difference with this is, as you can see, the Volga squares are small. These squares are back to your normal size that you would find on your um, your standard canvases. Outside is pretty much the same. The sides are expandable almost. It's much like a toiletry pouch, but I'll show you why we couldn't use it as a toiletry pouch in a second. This side we have um, just a leather tab and if we can see it here it just says Louis Vuitton Paris and we have nothing on the other side and this is again in that mattified leather that's on the Volva. This, the hardware on this again is silver, everything in this collection is silver and we just have your giant zip again which is nice. Um, Bottom, exact same. The only difference with this is the insides. So, um, again, I keep everything stuffed with these lovely little bags. Okay, so firstly, the interior of this bag is incredible. I don't know what it is. I believe it's a man-made lining anyway, whatever that means, but it is so nice, it is so soft. As we can pretty much see there, it's it's so beautiful. This is the tab again at the top. So Louis Vuitton pad is made in France, awesome winter 2015. So much like the Volga, this is split into two different parts. So you have a large Side here, which is pretty much the length of the whole bag, uh, and you can fit a ton in this. I usually take this to work, and um, I can fit everything inside. And then on the other side, you have a smaller pocket. It, it's not quite as big. It does go the length, but it's kind of cut early, so it, it cuts off a little bit. So it's a smaller pocket. And again, this is usually where I keep all my wallet, keys, etc. So that's nice in there. Again, there's not a huge difference, so I can't really compare, but that is the Pochette Voyage MM in Mammoth print. Again, I'll pop in some, some shots of me. Well, actually, I should mention, it is one continuous piece of canvas, so we've got your, obviously you've got your squares there that just say Louis Vuitton, and then one down there, Louis Vuitton, none on the bottom, and then when we flip it upside down, we have Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. So, so guys, that is my collection. I only have three things. I'm still on the hunt for a couple of different things, but I love this collection.
guys, that was that. Um, thank you so much for watching the video today. Um, if you do have any questions about any of the pieces that you've seen in this video, then please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.